so in this video we are going to make something like this so if you click on any image or any button or anything you want on which you want to set the on click listener and you want to show an image in your full screen so here i have a setting in my navigation drawer so if you want to do it on image like an image is shown here and you want to add on click listener to show it in the full view so you can do it so simply i will click on setting and you can see that a image is shown in my full screen so if you want something like this in an application then you can follow my video and you will get to know how i can do it So welcome to this new video and today we will see that how we can make an image pop up when we click on our navigation drawer items. So this was requested by one of my viewers. So let's get started. So first of all I will show you that how we can get it and before showing you I will show you that what I have made. So this is my application and here you can see that I have a side menu bar and if you click on home then you can go to the home fragment and similarly you have others option so let's go to the android studio and now let's code there so this is our application means the application which we are making and here you can see that we have the home fragment the main activity and all the others necessary activity so here you can see the navigation items which we have home settings call so first of all I would add my image here so let me add an image so wherever you have saved your image in the drawable or if you want to get it from the internet you can do it according to your choice and you just need to get its location so if you are getting it from the internet then you can use the Picasso else you can use anything of your choice so let me copy an image here and let me put it to the drawable so I have saved it to my drawable and now uh, let us go to our fragments so here you can see that it's my home fragment and in the main activity I have set my item click listener so i want to show my image when i click on this so if i click on the settings i want to show it so simply i will make here all of my changes so that i can show it so first of all i will make a new layout file here so we'll ask why layout file so we will simply use the inflator to inflate our layout file and then we will show it using the pop-up view so i will make a layout file and let's give it an name so let's give it a name and now here you can see so whatever you want to show it here means whatever you want to show on clicking you can give it and simply give any background image here of your choice because you will change the background image to your desired image which you want to show it and I will also add a, another image here so that we can close this pop-up so let me add a close button here and I will save it to the right corner I will give a margin of 80 dp from top and right and let's name it close and let's name it image in pop-up so we have made our layout file here now we will make a background so that when the image is being shown so we can select our background and nothing else is shown so whatever you want to show in the background of this image you can show it so I will simply show a shape here 
and I will show it as a rectangle. So now I have closed it and now I will add a color to it. So I will add color as white. So whichever color you want to show, you can give it. And then I will add corners also. And I will add a corner of 15 dp. So now you can see it's our background. So when our image will pop up, so it will pop up on this background. So if you want to change the color or you want to add something like gradient, you can do it according to your choice. So now let's go to our main activity. And now you are basically done with all the other things. So first of all, we will get our... So we know that when we click on settings or whatever you want, setting or any image, you can add an on-click listener to it and then inside on-click listener, simply write this. So after closing the, the drawer, I will write this. I will first of all make an inflator, which will be a layout inflator. So it will be layout inflator dot and we will pass the context here. So let me zoom my screen so that you can see it in a good way. So now we will make a pop up view and we will simply inflate it. So inflator dot inflate and we will need to pass our layout file here. So r dot layout and you have made our layout file as example so we have passed it then you, know, then you need to pass the root we will pass null and simply false and the attached to root so we are done with it and now we will get our image which image so we will get our image from the example so this image and we will change it to our desired image so we will get this image so let me close all the extra tabs so we'll get the image and we'll get it using the pop-up view so pop-up view dot find and it's an image view and we have set the image as image in pop-up yeah and we will also get our close button is equal to pop-up view dot find view by id and it's an image view and we have set the id as close so we have got our pop-up view and close and now what we will do that we will make a pop-up window so we will simply make a pop-up window so we will name it as builder you can name it anything which is equal to pop-up window and now you want you need to pass it here the parameters so you can pass context attributes and here we will pass the content view so we will so what you want to show it in it so we'll show the pop-up view it's height and width so you can set the height and width in dp according to your choice so i will show it in the full screen so for full screen i will add linear layout dot i will get our parameter dot match parent so this is our width and now we will set our height so I will again copy the same thing and now you can pass the focusable so we will pass here true so it's focusable so we made our builder here means we have made our pop-up view now we can set the background so builder dot set background drawable and in the background tribal we will set our background so we can get our background from the get drawable so get drawable and here we pass our id so r dot it's in the drawable so drawable dot it's background so we have set our background here and now we can set uh, animation style if you want it or you can set the location where you want to show it so before doing it, I will change the image in the image which we in the example. So let me do it. So image dot set 
image resource and you can set the image as your desired image so i have made so it's not getting so let me change to id and then let me see what name so it's image.jpg so we are not getting it so let me change it to rival and now you can see here that we have got the image here so our image is this one so yes so we have made these things and now what we need to do is that we need to show the builder dot show at location so what you need to pass it here is the this parent view where you want to show it so we will show it in the main activity because the main activity contains our fragments so i will show it in the main activity so you can type this dot find view by id and now in the main activity so we will go to our main activity here and here we will get our this id so this id is drawer layout so r dot id dot so we have get our id here now we will pass the gravity so we will pass gravity dot we will show it in the center so we will pass center and then the x and the y coordinates so we have done with it so now everything is done we have shown the pop-up now if you want to close it so we will add a close button close dot set on click listener we will simply make our builder dismiss so we will builder dot dismiss so now it will dismiss our builder so we have done that also so now what we can do it that we can add an animation so we will add builder dot animation style is equal to r dot style and now here you can see some styles so here we do not have any animation so we will add an animation so you can simply go to our themes so you will go to value and to themes and here you can add an animation so simply add an animation so i will simply copy my animation so you can do it according to your choice so let me paste my animation here and i have named it as dialog animation so yes so now it's good and we will go to our main activity and now here we will type dialog animation so everything looks good here and now we can run our application to see whether it's work or not so let me run it in my phone and let us see if it works or not So our application is here and let us click on this settings so you can see that we have an image here and if you click on close button you can see it dismiss if you click on settings it's shown on the top and if you dismiss it so let me change to dark mode to light mode and now if you click on settings you can see the image and now it dismissed if you click on settings 
सो थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो